What's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy back with another Dokkan battle video. So after what felt like a very, very long weekend of complete silence, like literally we got no information whatsoever. We finally today have all the details we need for the upcoming LR Gohan and Goten, who by the way, will start out as a global exclusive unit. Now, we might only be able to keep that exclusivity for like one or two days before they drop on JP as well. And I know it's not the biggest deal, but it's still exciting to me, man, because football players don't get to say that that often, right? And I know there are some JP players out there right now that are a little bit pissed about this, but guys, let's be real. You guys get new units first all the damn time. Just let us global players enjoy the next couple of days, all right? <laughs> but I'm sure you guys are super excited to find out exactly what these guys can do. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. But first things first, I do want to quickly touch on something else that I think global players should also be very hyped about, and that is the LR Goku and Arali. And I know some people are going to say, yo, Tiger, we're not getting the LR right now. We're getting the TUR. That's what it said in the news. And you know what? That's okay. That's what I thought too. But earlier today, our boy Kawhi on Twitter tweeted, that the LR form of this card is dropping on Global as well. So it looks like they decided to expedite the process and instead of releasing the TUR and the LR separately, we're getting both at the same time. I mean, at least that's what Kawhi says. Now I want to put that out there, you know, to cover my own ass, but get hyped. We're getting one of the best free-to-play LRs in the game at the same time as LR, Gohan, and Goten. Uh, that's absolutely huge. Okay, moving on to now the thing that you guys you know, most of you at least came to this video for, and that is the LR, Gohan, and Goten. And uh, why don't we just start off from the very top. Now, first of all, they are a tech type unit, as you can see. They are a dual category leader. Siblings bond category, key plus four, attack plus 170%, and HP and defense plus 150%, which is fantastic. Key plus four, super useful, especially for LRs like this guy to get their 18 key super off. And also, Goku's family, category key plus 3, attack plus 170%, and HP and defense plus 130%. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Goku's family part is the exact same as LR Super Saiyan for uh, Goku's leader skill. Now, like I said, I could be wrong, could be a little bit off, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. And if that's the case, that's insane, right? Because <laughs> Goku's family alone is already strong enough, but then you throw in the siblings bond too. Um, this guy's gonna be a very good leader. His, you know, best optimal team uh, is gonna be very solid. I can I can promise you that. And uh, let's move on to the the super attacks now. Brotherhood Kamehameha for both the 12 key and 18 key. Um, 12 key is greatly raises attack and causes colossal damage, and uh, 18 key is mega colossal damage. Passive now, super duper miraculous technique. Love the name. <laughs> attack and defense plus 58%. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And key plus one, an attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to a maximum of key plus five, an attack and defense up to 100%. And also disables rampage. Now, I'm not sure how useful that's gonna be, but I guess if you're fighting Broly, then you can have an easier time that way, but. Anyways, we don't really care too much about that. It's mainly the um, additional supers with a medium chance to become super attack and also the you know additional key and attack and defense for every attack performed. Now, when you first look at this card, you're like, okay, 58% seems kind of low, right? Like that's, that's not much of a buff at all. But the main thing to keep in mind is that they buff themselves every time they attack. They also have the guaranteed additional that has a chance to become a super and once you get them, trust me, once you get them to their max potential um, after launching 10 attacks, which should happen within like, you know, I would say like five turns or so, maybe five or six turns, um, they're gonna be hitting just stupid amounts of damage, man. I'm, I'm not even lying. Like I've seen some numbers out there um, of one guy who got their Goten and Gohan to like 9 million attack. And I don't think they use items. I think it was just like max damage output or like max, um, you know, buff on the passive as well as a support unit and also, um, what else? What else? Also, it was rainbowed. It was a, it was a rainbowed uh, Gohan and Goten. It was of course a private server, but they are by far like one of, if not the hardest hitting unit in the game. So 
Don't worry about that 58% too much. Um, one thing I also want to mention at the bottom here is that, here we go, their additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed is calculated separately, resulting in an increase of 15.8% per attack performed for a total of 216% attack and defense after 10 attacks. Now, of course, that is their max buff, but even if you're like somewhere in between, like, you know, with four or five attacks, they're still gonna be doing a lot of damage, man, trust me. So, um, <laughs> they're not weak by any means. I don't know, I, I think some people out there just saw the 58% and got thrown off by that, but uh, they're not weak by any means. Okay, active skill. Now, this is the thing that, you know, kind of like makes them special, I guess, or uh, people, I guess, are really hyped about what, I mean, I personally am at least. Family Kamehameha massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemies. So this basically is the same effect as the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s, where you get that free, like, basically ultra super, free ultra super, and then after you use that active skill, you can also super again. So that's a pretty busted mechanic, man, I gotta say. But anyways, uh, that's what it is. Can be activated when HP is 59% or less and facing only one enemy, starting from the third turn of the battle once only. So, um... Obviously, there are quite a few restrictions on it. You have to be below 59% HP. You have to be facing only one enemy. And also, I mean, from the third turn of the battle, it's not that hard to meet. That's probably the easiest condition you can possibly have. But um, yeah, it's going to be, you know, a little bit situational. And you definitely can't use it on like Super Battle Road because you're never going to be facing one enemy. Actually, no. There's some stages where like the last fight is one enemy, right? But like for most cases, for most stages, you're not going to be able to use that. Um, which I know a lot of people or some people are kind of upset about, but I don't mind it too much, man. Because like I said, these active skills, these like guaranteed extra supers are uh, kind of OP. So I'm not too upset about that. Um, I don't have too much of an issue with it. And also, of course, even without this active skill, they're still going to be doing ridiculous amounts of damage. So it's not even that big of an issue. <laughs> uh, moving on to the links. All in the family, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Blazing Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Now... One thing that really stands out here is that they only have one key link, which is Golden Warrior, and it's only key plus one. And some people have told me uh, or asked me, yo, why does this link suck? Like, why does he have horrible links? I'm like, first of all, this guy is very key self-sufficient, man, or self-sufficient for key. He gives himself up to five key after five attacks, which should happen after, you know, you have him, like the third time he appears, you should have max key from the passive. And then he also gives key plus four on the leader skills. So if you run a double LR Gohan and Goten, that's plus eight key right off the bat. So combine eight key with the five key from the passive plus the one key from uh, Golden Warrior, that's already 14 key, right? So all you need is four more key for that 18 key super. So as far as like getting the 18 key super off, the ultra super off, it's not gonna be too much of an issue either. So yeah, links I think are just fine, and uh, categories, there's a lot of them. Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Full Power, Joined Forces, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond. They are in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 categories, guys. 7 categories. So very versatile unit. Um, they're just absolutely insane, honestly. They're absolutely insane. And they are coming out tomorrow, by the way, May 8th, 2019. So um, best of luck to everybody summoning. I mean, I, I don't think I've wanted a unit more than I've wanted this one right here, right now. And I haven't even shown you guys the super attacks yet, the, the active skill, the family Kamehameha yet. So let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, is there anything else I want to say before we move on? I don't think so. Uh, ultimate damage multiplier is 550%. So it's, it's going to do a lot of damage, the active skill. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's move on now to... Oh, you know what? Before I show you the super attack, I do want to show you guys another uh, unit that we're getting to. So this is a new physical Gohan that's going to be part of the banner that um, the Goten and Gohan are coming with. And he's gonna be probably non Dokkan Fest exclusive, but he is actually very solid too. Movie Heroes Leader. Um, actually, let's, let's look at the TUR. Why am I looking at the, the base one? Okay, this is the TUR. And his leader skill is Movie Heroes Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 120%. By the way, I do love this trend of 120% uh, uh, category leaders, man. Because for people like me who didn't pull the Gogeta, Gogeta Blue, I couldn't run movie heroes, right? But now if I pull this guy, fingers crossed, right? Um, then I can actually run the category. So anyways, I love that. Uh, great leader skill right there. Super attack is explosive blast, causes supreme damage and lowers enemy attack. And passive is 
Movie Heroes category key plus 2, ally key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 40%. So amazing, amazing support for Movie Heroes. Attack and defense plus 100% when there is a Movie Bosses category enemy and uh, disables Rampage. So, you know, a bit of a situational buff at the end, just like the uh, Paragus and Broly, but he's just still an amazing support. So, um, you know, I... I see nothing wrong with that. Link skill, all in the family, Super Saiyan or Link set. Uh, the Saiyan lineage, Golden Warrior, and uh, Cold Judgment, Blazing Battle, Fierce Battle categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Machibu Saga, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, and Siblings Bond. Of course, you can throw this guy on the um, you know uh, Siblings Bond category if you want with the Gohan and Goten, and uh, you know they would buff probably quite a few units on that category or on that team as well. So. There you go, there is a brand new uh, Super Saiyan Gohan for you. And now let's move on to the Super Attacks. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I totally forgot what order I put these guys in. Super Attacks next, Super Attacks next, I promise. But uh, one quick thing I also want to mention is that we did find the um, the EZA medals for the Janemba in the database. So most likely um, with tonight's like reset or like you know with the new news release that comes out tonight in the game, we should hear about a Janemba Extreme Z Awakening announcement as well. And uh, real quick to give you guys an idea about what he does, leader skill is uh, int type 90% and key plus 3. And uh, immense damage uh, and greatly lowers defense on his super attack and passive is attack and defense plus 70%. Guard activated against all attacks, medium chance to evade enemy attack including super attacks for one turn and attack plus 40% for 4 turns when guard is activated. So uh, Janemba becomes a really insane 2 way unit man. He does a very very respectable amount of damage like easily over two mil with a couple dupes um, maybe even three mil and he also is a pretty ridiculous tank too I mean you have to factor in the dodges too but he gets a good amount of defense on his passive and uh, you know just a really really good unit so I'm excited for that EZA easily top three EZAs some people say he's the best I'm still not really convinced I'm not really sure right now but I'll know when I test them out, right? So keep uh, keep an eye out for you know the Janemba EZA as well on Global. And now we should be at the super attacks. There we go. So we're on YouTube right now. Um, shout out to DeepZ World for posting these. And let's check out what these super attacks look like. All right. So the first one we're looking at is the uh, new Gohan. So we're gonna start kind of like from the least hype, I guess, to the most hype. And uh, this super attack is literally just a regular Kamehameha. Nothing crazy there. And I think it might be at one time speed. Actually, no, it's probably at two times speed. Okay, this is his TR form, the Super Saiyan. And, you know, it's decent. It's decent. All right, so <laughs> I like how they used the, the art from the other physical Gohan for, for the Super. Um, a little bit lazy, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, so now we got the uh, Gohan and Goten in their base form. And it's just standard Kamehameha, Brotherhood, Kamehameha, so they both, you know, do at the same time. And, uh, spoiler alert, I'm not gonna play this whole thing because literally every single form, even at their LR state, their 12 key is just this super. Like, it doesn't really change. I mean, they go Super Saiyan, obviously, after the, after the base form, but, uh, nothing else changes, man. Like, the LRs do the same thing, so I'm actually gonna go to over here now. Yeah, let's go over here. And... Look at the active skill here. Alright, I'm gonna turn up the sound a little bit so you guys can hear the voices. Yeah, dude, that is awesome. Okay, so it, it just like threw, it threw me off, man. Like when I first when I first watched, obviously I watched it before I made this video. Um, like the English voice just threw me off because I'm so used to seeing, like, or hearing Japanese voice acting for active skills because we've never had one on Global, right? And to hear like Sean Chemo's voice and uh, all the English voices for all those guys, it was awesome. Gets me really, really hyped. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and for nothing else, I mean, I know they're gonna do crazy amounts of damage. I know they're gonna be like freaking broken, but for nothing else, I really want this card for that active skill for the English voices, man. So um, definitely want this guy more on global for that. 
And uh, I'm just, you know what, I don't want to be greedy, man. I just want to, cross, fingers crossed, I just want to pull him on either version, whether it's Global or JP. But obviously, like I said, I prefer the Global because uh, your boy is a Global main still, even though I do play JP a little bit more these days. Um, but let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about the animations, the active skill, the details of the card, uh, leader skills, passive, all that stuff. Um, definitely meets my expectations, man. The only thing that was a little bit underwhelming was the super tax before the active skill. Actually, I, for I think I forgot to show you guys the uh, 18 key super, but you can find it on my Instagram if you want. A uh, little plug right there. <laughs> but uh, go check it out. It's it's nothing crazy though. I thought it was, it was fine. Um, it was decent, but it didn't you know, get me as hyped as I thought it would. But the family Kamehameha, that uh, active skill definitely gets the job done. So yeah, overall, I can't say I'm disappointed by any of this. And I think there are just, there's just one last thing I want to talk about real quick before we get out of here. Okay, so I should know two things. One, la one, one small thing is that the uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly event is returning. So for anybody that hasn't gotten these uh, guys done, the Vegeta, the Coat Vegeta, and the Coat uh, Goku, get them done because they're very, very strong. And uh, also, these guys are great for farming up the super attacks of your base Vegetas, your base Gokus, and even your blue Gokus and blue Vegetas if you want to Doken Awaken them. You know, like putting that extra work, it's, I'd say it's worth it, it's worth it, because we save a lot of Kai's that way. But um, there you go, the Broly event is back. And also, one last thing is we do have a bit of uh, a teaser or like a little bit of information about a potential transforming Broly. Now all we have right now, I'm not sure if you guys can even read this, um, is an active skill in the database that's not the uh, Gohan and Goten. So this is an active skill for a unit that we really don't know anything about. Um, but we've been basically, you know, Kawhi is saying, and I think some other data miners are saying that this is for a Broly that potentially can transform as well. And uh, he also has an active skill. So I don't really know what else to say, except it could potentially happen. Maybe we're gonna get it like soon. Maybe it's in the future. Maybe just put it in there to like trick us. Like, I don't know. I don't really know right now, but I want to plant that seed in your mind and uh, let you know about all the like recent rumors and leaks and stuff like that. So potentially a transforming Broly on the horizon, but if it doesn't happen, don't be too upset because like I said, there's really no um, official confirmation of any kind. So there you go, guys. That's all I really got to say for today's video. Hope you guys are hyped up because uh, there's just so much crazy stuff happening all at once. Like it literally went from zero to a hundred in the span of like today. So <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, Goku and Arale, um, Goten and Gohan, or Gohan and Goten, whatever. Family Kamehameha and uh, Easy H and Nemba. Um, and I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff too once we get the official news release in game. And I'll keep you guys posted on that. Of course, another video coming soon. So stay tuned. That's all I gotta say today though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it informative, interesting, uh, exciting. A combination of the three, I don't really know. It's up to you, but if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content. That's all I gotta say, guys. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.